Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you my seed collection. We've been collecting seeds for a while now. My family's desire to have a farm business and live a homesteading life, more sufficient life, has been in the works for a while now. And we have accumulated a bunch of seeds. We've used some because we do garden here in military housing as much as we can, but as we are finally coming to the point where we're moving, we've just been stocking up on seeds uh, because we're gonna be growing all our food ourselves. So I just thought that it'd be fun to show you what uh, we have so far. A lot of the things we're gonna be growing in the garden is gonna come from these boxes and we're gonna go to Florida nurseries because we do plan on growing a lot of perennials, a lot of native plants for Florida. I think that's really important. That climate is completely different from Washington State's climate. So we are definitely have a learning curve growing in a new growing zone. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Right, right now we have everything organized by season, fall, or summer. Uh, I know Florida's pretty warm throughout the whole year, um, but I know if we do live, end up living a little up north, it'll be a little bit colder. If we end up living a little bit south, it's gonna be a little bit warmer. So we're just pretty much just trying to grow everything we already eat. We start off with this box. This kind of goes along with this. So this right here is beef feed mix from Johnny Seed. I'm also planning to be a beekeeper in our property. So that's one big goal. So this is just pretty much a mix of flower species so that's good, that are good for pollinators. And in this box, it's not labeled, but it's a lot of flowers, a lot of trees. We use these photo boxes to organize all our seeds, which is great if you need a, an idea of how to store your seeds. So here we have apple tree. So my husband has been working hard in tracking down some of these seeds. We have some roses, some red roses, blue roses. They don't have specific names. He got them from other countries. So a lot of them are in different languages, but they are roses. So these are roses here. They're like in little baggies and little barcodes and then here we have banana trees seeds banana tree seeds are really small and so we have some banana seeds we have a lemon tree and lime these are a mix of trees in here we have honey peach tree that we have a coconut tree. We have cherry tree. And we have Japanese cherry. I think he got some of these from Asia. And this one is not labeled, so we will figure out what this is. So these are a bunch of trees in here. Maple tree seeds in here. Orange tree. These are a bunch of mixed wildflower. I got, I got a lot of flowers from the dollar store, so these are all flowers from the dollar store. Seeds are seeds, I don't, I don't discriminate, so I usually always buy seeds when I go to the store. We have a bunch of these seeds which we separated, and this is the moringa tree, which is also known as a tree of life. It's from India, and it grows really well in Florida climate. And these are what the seeds look like. We have about four of boxes of moringa trees. So we're definitely gonna be having a lot of mango trees, hopefully selling some of these moringa trees. We have an abundance of sunflowers, which if you saw my intro video, I said a lot about what I wanna do for my garden. But the one thing that I really, an additional thing that I really wanna do is grow a sunflower field. Not super big, but just enough to fill a good amount of space with sunflowers. And I've been stocking up on Sunflowers. So these boxes both have tons of sunflowers. Here are some of these. 
I kind of wanted a good mix of different ones. I've only grown mammoth sunflower seeds, sunflowers. And so, some more. And then we did save a bunch of seeds from our sunflowers from the past. This is another box of sunflower seeds. They actually have sunflower seeds at the dollar store, if you didn't know. So I got some sunflower seeds from the dollar store. Some more sunflowers from Baker Creek. I'm not just going to say all their names because it's a lot. So I'll just kind of put them here. I wanted all different sizes. I'm really not sure. If I'm going to sell them or not, maybe. I really do want to create some type of business when it comes to flowers. I know my family is uh, going to be trying to figure out the farming business game as well. So sky's the limit for sure. And these are miscellaneous flowers. My husband really researched different types of flowers um, and got a bunch of them online. We have some snapdragon flowers, some rudebeck, canna lily, we have bamboo, wildflowers, some I can't really pronounce. I think a lot of them are from Asia, but these are a bunch of mixed flowers that we have. And then these are mixed flowers that I've got myself. Some more Baker Creek flowers. Let me see. Zinnias. Love zinnias. Um, some gum and then some more flowers from like the dollar store. Pretty much flowers and trees. Now I have a lot of stuff so I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I don't want to bore you too much but this is all herbs. I'm a big advocate for herbs especially medicinal herbs. I'm really going to get into herbs especially as a nurse. I, it really intrigues me. Uh, when it comes to the medicine property of herbs so i really i have a book that i'm reading about it and i'm excited to learn more about it as i go and grow them i have herbs from baker creek so i have that herb i have some echinacea some yarrow two different types of yarrow i have calendula which i'm growing now but i bought some um, more calendula seeds there. I have lavender, which I'm also growing lavender now. And I got some of those from Burpee. Chamomile, which I can't wait to grow chamomile. I'm a tea drinker, not a coffee drinker. And so this is for sure something that I'm really excited to, to do is make my own tea, especially my own hers for cooking. That's going to happen for sure. Some Cosmos. And this is just, this is what I mean to have mixed stuff. So these are all from the Dollar Tree, and then we have some Cosmos from Baker Creek. And these are all types of flowers from the Dollar Store. So I can't wait to grow so many flowers. I'm going to mix them in with my vegetables. I love companion planting, and so I'm really into that. Some more herbs. And this is another box of Dollar Store. I got a lot of marigolds and more zinnias. So that's a lot. They're pretty much running out of all their garden stuff for the year. So I was just grabbing a bunch. I have some sage, cilantro, and cilantro from Burpee. I have cumin as well. So I got some cumin from Baker Creek. Rosemary and thyme. Some chives which I'm growing chives now, but these are chives, different types of chives. Some chives. All these herbs I cook with. So I have a bunch of herbs that I cook with. There you go. More thyme. Basil, which I love the smell of basil. I love growing basil as well. This is, this is open, but I have to get a lot of, I have to get more paper envelopes so I can organize a little bit better. I have some dill here. Some dill from Baker Creek. 
and this is all my herbs that will be growing. This is for the winter season. Put cold season. We have two boxes of cold season. And we have here leeks from Burpee. Pumpkin. We have a bunch of pumpkin from Burpee. And then, I don't know if you can see. Probably not. We have uh, seeds also that we've saved. Beets. I'm excited to grow these types of beets. The Detroit Dark Red Beets from Baker Creek. Kale. We love greens. I love dinosaur kale, so I'm def I definitely got some of that from Burpee. Dazzling Blue from Baker Creek. We're on that one, but we got that. And some asparagus beans, just normal asparagus from Paris Island lettuce. They're like in, they're in little baggies. So some garlic. I actually have. It isn't. This is what my husband bought, and so we have some garlic seeds that we're gonna attempt to, to try when we get to Florida. Chard from Baker Creek. Some Brussels sprout, so we have those. Bag of blackberry seeds. More beets. We're gonna be growing more Detroit Reds, the same, uh, from Burpee and from Baker Creek. Cauliflower, really early snowball cauliflower, and then we just have, yeah, they're both snowball cauliflower. Don't mind my chip paint nails. <laughs> Purple bok choy. I love bok choy. I love growing bok, bok choy. Strawberries. Johnny's. No name brand, just little bok, little bag of it. And carrots. We love growing carrots. We have some then we have some we have different types. We have three different types of carrots. And so we have these from Burpee, from Baker Creek, Baker Creek, and those. So this is box one of the cold season, winter season, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we have some arugula, and then we have some rocket arugula from Burpee. I love arugula lettuce we're gonna grow a lot of lettuce because we eat a lot of lettuce i have a good mix of lettuces in here and i have these as well long-standing spinach and so we got some spinach in there celery so kohlrabi from baker creek uh, raspberries no name brand but just plain old raspberries rutabagas they're really small small black seeds for rutabaga broccoli burpee cherry giant radish from burpee cabbage golden cabbage more onions we have a bunch of onions sweet Spanish yellow Utah jumbo onions, red burgundy onions, another thing of onions. These are from Baker Creek. We have those. Mustards from Baker Creek. Georgia Southern collards from Baker Creek. Butter crunch lettuce in little baggies. And that goes the second cold or winter season seeds that we have. These are the summer crops. We love pickling. We have a bunch of cucumbers. We have pickle bush from Burpee, Chicago pickling cucumbers from Baker Creek, Muncher from Baker Creek, Mexican, Mexican sour from Baker Creek, uh, tender green burpless from Burpee, 
Garden Sweet Burpless Hybrid from Burpee, Double Year Yield from Burpee, and N Cash Market. Squash. This one's already open. A bag of grapes for squash. Butternut squash. Artichoke. Colorado Red Star Artichoke from Baker Creek. We have some beans from Burpee. We have a lot of beans. Stringless green pod beans. Oregon sugar pod. Decided to grow these. I've never grown these before. The Chinese python beans from Baker Creek. We have some eggplant. Burpee black beauty eggplant. We have watermelon. We have Benny Kodima. I don't know if I'm saying that right. From Baker Creek. Garden Leader Monster from Perry Morris. A cow peas. Green arrow peas as well. In little baggies. Peas, Garden Sweet Peas, Sugar Daddy Snap Peas from Baker Creek, Creek which I grew this uh, growing season, my short little growing season that I had. I actually got some can cantaloupe seeds from the dollar store. Um, Perry Morris. Sarah's Choice from Johnny's. And a bunch of cantaloupe we saved ourselves. And tomatoes, which we will grow a lot of. We love tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes, nothing like them. Uh, some Roma tomatoes. Cherry, red cherry large fruited tomatoes. Some uh, Baker Creek Orange Icicle. Kellogg's Breakfast. We have German Pink. We have Nampa Rose Blush. We have two of those. And then we have Mortage Lifter. I don't know if I said that right. Duster. I might butcher these names, but. Rebecca Allen and some red cherry tomatoes and little baggies. We have two little boxes of tomatoes, so that's the first one. Second one is large buried boar. The color is so pretty. We have about four of those. More orange icicle, purple bumblebee. We got about four of those. We try to grow as many tomatoes as possible. We have some bush blue lake beans, some golden wax improved beans, some jade beads, beans from the creek, corn. I can't wait to grow corn. Burpees Triple Crown Bicolor Hybrid Corn Fisher's Earliest Corn from Baker Creek Which looks delicious And Wade's Giant Indian Corn from Baker Creek And this is just corn, it just says corn, there's no specific There's little baggies of, of corn I don't know if I mentioned I'm a, I have a family of six So I'm feeding six people Peppers, sweet peppers. So we have um, Mellow Star Johnny Seeds, Hybrid Hot Peppers from Johnny Seeds, Sweet Sunrise, Cornito Giallo, I don't know if I'm saying that right, from Johnny's, Corinto Rosso, Olympus, Carnival Blend from Burpee, peppers, and then some pepper seeds that we've saved ourselves. Some more pepper seeds that we've saved ourselves. And there we go. Those are all our seeds for now. I'm sure we're gonna keep growing our seed collection, but we keep it in a cool place. And we are still organizing. I still have to buy some uh, paper seed bags to take out the seeds that are in plastic bags because paper is a bit better than plastic when it comes to storing seeds. And in big bags like this, we just keep them in there and we're ready to go when we start actually growing all this food so yeah that's the seed collection 
It's a lot of seeds um, for a family of six, but I mean, I am ready, full force, to grow as much as I can. And as you can see with all these seeds, we're definitely serious about growing some food. Now you know what kind of food that we're growing, and I hope that you got some inspiration. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next one.